Hello and welcome to 4K Gaming and Tutorials. Thanks for taking the time to check out this video. Welcome to my channel. Remember, if this video helps you, be sure to leave a like, let others know it's a good video, and consider subscribing. Because I put out more videos on a periodic basis, not so much lately, but I plan to be changing that sometime here soon. And um, we're going to be covering a topic which has gotten quite a bit of views in the past which is uh, another video about the NVIDIA control panel. It's just a short little tutorial going over how to do the G-Sync with the FreeSync monitors. This is mainly with RTX cards. I'm not sure if the previous Pascal generation for GTX 1080s and the 10 series is covered with this. I actually haven't used mine since I got the RTX, which is kind of the reason why I wanted to get it so I could upgrade from those, but um, I don't know why they wouldn't, but like I said, I don't know for sure, so I can't speak to that. But if you have an RTX card, I think it's the 2070s and 2080s, 2080Ti's, not sure about the lower ones, don't have the, those, just have the 2080, so you right click your desktop, it do NVIDIA control panel, it should show up right there. If it doesn't, make sure you reinstall it, and like I said, I have a video about how to fix that. And if this part is whited out, I'll try to leave uh, something up in the corner over here. And we can go ahead and get started. You'll need a uh, display port cable. Yep, that's what it's called, display port. Mini brain part there. And uh, it should be DisplayPort 1.4 or higher. I know that's what this monitor runs on, and I've also tested it on another one, and another LG one actually. And uh, LG's FreeSync seems to be ones that support. I have um, about four of those monitors, and it seems to work with all of them. You'll want to make sure you have the FreeSync on your monitor enabled as well, obviously. Otherwise, the computer or in, and the video card won't be able to pick up that it is um, FreeSync compatible. So after you do that, you come down here, it should say Setup G-Sync. If it doesn't say that, then more than likely your monitor isn't supported or your video card isn't supported for whatever reason. So you click that and you will need to click the checkbox, Enable G-Sync and G-Sync compatible monitors, which is FreeSync now. And you can enable it for full screen mode or full screen, full screen and window mode. I said this is an LG Electronics monitor. Forget the exact make and model, but it's the um, it's the 21 by 9 ultrawide. I actually had to change the resolution of this video because those tend to be a little much on YouTube videos. For most people, don't tend to have 21 by 9s, but I greatly recommend them because they're great for productivity and they give you a wider range on your gaming, especially when they're curved. Not so much the uncurved ones, but you know, take what you can get. And this button down here is for enable settings for the display, select the display model, which would be this one. I'm guessing if you have multiple models uh, hooked up to the same one, then it will allow you to have selected display settings for each one, and that's uh, pretty much all you need to do to do that. Like I said, if this doesn't show up, then you will need to uh, make sure you're on display port, make sure it is FreeSync enabled on the monitor you're using, and make sure that you are preferably using an RTX card, but I'm not sure if any of the cards tend to support that, so you'll have to either trial and error if you can, or I guess just wait until you can afford one once the price comes down. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Hope it's been helpful. Make sure to leave a subscribe and a like, and uh, I'll get more videos out as soon as I'm able to with work and all that. Anyway, later.